What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today I want to briefly talk about how a VPN works in case you're not really familiar with VPNs in general. And I'll also talk about some of the best VPNs that you can use. I'll talk about them in just a minute. But basically a VPN, when you use a VPN, your device connects to a server owned by the VPN company, which can be located almost anywhere in the world. The information sent between your device and the server is of course encrypted, which means it's secure and it's it's unreadable to anyone who might try to intercept it. Once connected to the VPN server, your device is assigned a new IP address, which masks your actual IP address, making it hard for anybody to track your activity. And you can check this new IP address by going to any IP finder after connecting to the VPN. And I'll go to the IP finder right here. As you can tell, it previously stated that I am in France, but now that I'm connected to the Italian server, it'll say that I am in Italy and I have a new Italian IP address. Of course, this address will be shared with many other users for added anonymity. And as you browse the internet, websites see the IP address of the VPN server instead of your real one. And this not only helps in maintaining your online privacy, but it also allows you to access sites and services that may be restricted in your actual location, like there may be specific markets that you don't have access to, streaming services. And of course, you can also use a VPN when you're torrenting if you want to secure your device while you're torrenting so that nobody can see what you're doing, or if you just want to safely use a public Wi-Fi. So yeah, there are plenty of benefits to using a VPN, but if you're not really sure which one to choose, let's just talk a little bit about these VPNs to help you make a more informed decision. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all can consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real-life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, ExpressVPN is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider to be the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And to help you figure out which plan you should go for, generally you want to go for the long-term plans with VPNs, and I'll explain why. So for example, ExpressVPN gives you three plans to choose from. There's a month at a time plan for $12.95 per month, a six-month plan for $10 per month, or a 12-month plan for $8.32 per month. However, if you use the link in the description down below, you can get three 
three months free and so the 12 month plan drops down to 667 per month now out of curiosity i spoke with express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more on monthly renewals than they would have with the yearly plan because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly thinking they may not really need this long term so unfortunately they end up spending more money than they would have if they had gone with the year plan especially with the discount code i linked below so ultimately if you know you're not going to need express for longer than a month definitely get the month plan but if there's a chance you might end up using it longer than a month you may want to go with the year plan and then if you change your mind or realize you won't need it that long you have 30 days to get a refund and go back to just a month at a time and so to sum it up these vpns are definitely the best in the business express vpn is a premium vpn with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best vpn overall now nordvpn is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And of course, they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. So you can try it out without any risk, really. And besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.